Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at another uh, CCC, Canadian Computing Competition from the University of Waterloo. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the J2 uh, called Shifty Sum from the year 2017. Let's ignore this. This is just my function to kind of take the uh, files from Waterloo and kind of convert them into actual uh, arrays. And then I'm taking these files and I'm putting them in here. Okay, so these files correspond with these files right here. So let's ignore that and the problem starts here. So let's go ahead and read the problem and try to solve it. So shifty sum, suppose we have a number like 12. Let's define shifting a number to mean adding a zero at the end of it. For example, if we shift that number once, we get the number 120. If we shift the number again, we get the number 1200. Uh, we can shift the number as many times as we want. In this problem, we will be calculating a shifting sum which is the sum of a number and the number we get by shifting. Specifically, you will be given a starting number, n, and a non-negative integer, k. You must add together n and all the numbers you get by shifting a total of k times. For example, the shifting sum, uh, the shifting sum when n is 12, so let's assume n is 12, and k is 1 is 12 plus 120 because we're shifting it once equals 132 so we have to output 132 as another example the shifty sum of n uh, is 12 and k is 3 it'll be 12 plus 120 plus 1200 plus 12,000 which uh, that's shifted three times which equals 13,332 great so input specification um, the first line of input contains number n 1 to 10,000 uh, and the second line of input contains a number um, of 1 to f uh, 0 to 5, excuse me. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what the files hold. So these are the files, these are the initial number, and this is how many times we're shifting them. Okay, beautiful. Uh, got another example here, but I think we get the idea. Let's go ahead and figure this out. So I'm going to go func find answer. So I'm going to create a function here. And this function is going to take um, an array right an array of um of integers right and then we're going to return just one int which is the shifting sum okay so we're gonna create a variable called sum and it's of type int and we're going to initialize at zero and that's what we're going to return we're going to return sum. obviously we're not returning sum right now we're going to return it after we do some uh, calculations so remember Remember, the first number in these arrays are the k, right? Uh, sorry, the n, right? So that the actual numbers that we're going to shift. And the second element of the array is how many times we're going to shift them. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say if an array, right? If an array, and this is 1, right? So it's how many shifts equal equals to 1. So if we're shifting it, uh, if we're shifting it uh, only once, if we're shifting it only once, what we're going to do is we're going to say sum equals uh, an array, right? And the first element, which is n plus, plus we're going to say uh, an array and uh, the first element times 10, right? Because we're shifting it once. Cool. We're going to go else if... This is a very simple, uh, you know, if statement. An array, right, 1 equals equals 2, right? So if we're shifting it twice, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to copy and paste it. But then we're also going to add one more. And we're going to say an array um, 0 times 100. Okay, we're going to say else if an array, right, so the second element, if we're shifting, if we're shifting, if the shifting number is 3, we're going to do the same thing here, but we're actually going to add one more thing here, and that's a thousand, right? And then I think you get the idea, we're just going to have a few more if statement. Um, uh, a few else ifs rather we go uh, four and if it's four we're gonna do exactly that plus one of these except it's not 
1000 it's going to be 10,000 and I like to format my numbers and uh, I think one more one more now why one more well see this is a j2 this is a j2 and it's not a j3 or a j4 so they've actually given you an easy one see it says n is can be 0 5 they're telling you right now uh, n will ne uh, uh, sorry k will never be more than 5 it will never be more than 5 so we know all we need to do is up to 5 that's it now obviously we didn't do 0 so I'm gonna go else else will be 0 and essentially else equals just the initial number cool and then we're gonna return some so now had this said 0 to 100 I'm not gonna do 100 else ifs I would do a loop but for this particular solution you don't need to do a loop all you need to do is um, you know an if statement with four or five else ifs all right let's give this a try let's call up this function find answer and I'm gonna put um, let's go ahead and copy and paste this ten times well okay and in here we're gonna put file one and in here we're gonna put two and in here we're gonna put file three four five six seven eight nine and we're gonna do one more I miscounted this is file 10 beautiful and if you go ahead and run this you'll see that our answer here is 1 why because if you look at the number the number was 1 and we shifted 0 the answer here is 1 and we shift 3 times and our answer is going to be 1111 because we're adding 1 plus 10 plus 100 plus 1,000. Here it's 99 and we're shifting it four times. So we're adding 99 plus 990 plus um, uh, 9,900, uh, 99,000 and so on. So this is going to be obviously a very large number and so on and so forth. 888, let's see why that is. Uh, because the number is 888 and we're shifting it zero times. And that's pretty much it. That solves it up. All right, hope you've enjoyed watching this video and have a wonderful day.